October. Happy, Happy October. Fall. October. Happy fall. Yeah. We're ready for pumpkins and apple pie. Finally. Oh, my yep. Put away the flip flops. We finally. Uh, uh, I'm still holding on to those. Me, though. Too. Still on. Me too. But it got <laughs> cold. I mean, it's yeah. definitely, we're in fall right. season now. Definitely. Yep. Yep. We went apple picking. You did? did? Which was nice. Mm -hmm. Yes. Did you make us know. an apple pie? No, I, don't I didn't see any of the apple pie. <laughs> 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 What's that? Where is that? Nope. We didn't do apple pies. Not yet. Yeah, you love to Yeah, you know. It's a nice fall thing to do. It is. I feel like before we start talking, and I, I love our show, and I love that we bring on guests and we talk about, but we just had a really hard weekend, and yes, I just, I, I, my heart and my thoughts are with the families in Las Vegas. I, I we are not going to get political. We don't have to, you know, talk about right. it too much, but I just, I felt like we had to talk about it because we absolutely talk about things that are important to moms and families, right. but what would happen, I feel like even if you are not from Las Vegas, or you don't know people, we live in this country and we all have families and, and it affects I, I everyone. just can't believe in this day and age we still sell semi-automatic weapons. Right. I don't want to go off on the whole gun thing, right. but uh, it's just it's just a sad, sad day, a sad weekend for people that mm -hmm. live in this country. We're just coming off the hurricane. There's families that still don't have electricity. I feel like, I mean, we're good comic relief. Right. But, right. but it's still always in the back of our of our mind. We're always and it's just it. so hard to wrap your head around it. And why? It really is. You know, it why? really is. Just because we sell semi-automatic rocks. Yeah, but it's I more mean, than that, too. Yeah. You know, just there's no good reason why. I feel like it's become almost like, oh, there was another mass right. shooting. Not yep. that it's like, oh, that's what happens now, which mm -hmm. is like, you know, you think after Sandy Hook that... Hmm. Right. More laws it's unfortunate change. that we're not surprised that something right. like that, that's happened. That's what I mean. Mm -hmm. Like I just yep. don't understand. It's just a scary. It's a scary place right now, everywhere. Right. Like I was, and I even posted this when I graduated from college. I backpacked through Europe. Could you imagine me feeling comfortable with my daughters? Forget all the other crazy things that happen in the world, but putting them on an airplane yeah. or right. even letting, letting them go to a concert, concert outside. Right. Yeah. I know. It's, All of it's those things have to now come into your head. That's my first thought. That's mm -hmm. what I mean. Yeah. Like, this right. is on the forefront of yeah. everything that I do now. Right. And I don't want to... We don't want to change our lifestyle. We still want to enjoy life and see all the good. Don't get me wrong. We see all the good mm -hmm. in people. We look for the helpers. I'm all about mm -hmm. that. But I'm like, when is enough enough? Right. Like, I don't understand how many right. more people need to be shot. By and we're all thinking and praying for the victims. Definitely. And even, like you Definitely. said, and, and you know what? Go out and do something. Right. Do something positive yep. to help. Like, right. You know, our fundraiser, come, you know, that we're going to do for the Red Cross. For the mayor. So just yes. any little thing you can do, I, f I feel like, makes a difference. Any good you can put out there. Because you yeah. don't know when, like, you just don't know what's mm -hmm. going to happen tomorrow. Anyhow, yep. so I just felt like that was important to talk about because right. I feel like um, Absolutely. it's just a sad day. Yeah. But so and on later, our hearts and prayers are with them. Yes. yes. Um, but have you guys settled into any kind of routine yet? School. Yeah, I feel like I'm texting with Carol every day. I know. Swim team. No. Who's picking up? Who's dropping yeah. off? Who's picking up? We have about up? four different legs of, of swim team How events many a day. David's like, are you texting Carol again about <laughs> carpooling? It is. Yeah. It's insanity. Yeah, I know. But and if then, you've been following us, you know that we have a fabulous new social media agency that we're working oh, with. Yes. Yes. Jabber yes. Yes. Media and Janice, who we love. Yes. Um, she's been doing fabulous job on our social media. So if you've seen any some. of our new postings on yes. Yes. our page, Go on Jabberhead website, like her. You can hire her, but you can't <laughs> hire her away from us. Yeah, not right <laughs> now. Because our, our, our momentum's just through the roof. Right. I feel like we've just gone shot right up. She's done a fabulous job, on Jab um, Jabberhead really. On. And we're doing more in the community. So we're partnering with um, a number of organizations, a number of restaurants doing more in the community. Um, we love being involved. I think between the four of us, we probably know a lot of moms. Right. Yep. Right. And in we've town. got a great town. We've got a very active town. So get out and you know join us on our join us. as Cammy said, October all our events. October twelfth. Yes. October yes. October twelfth. Yes. October twelfth. Those swag bags, man. We're raising. They keep looking nice. They're looking nice. Fuller and fuller. But it's, it's only awesome. for the first twenty-five women through the door, and the so first we have more than twenty-five, but we have some fun swag bags right. that Cammy's done a phenomenal nice. job with Lori picking up. Oh. Uh, great restaurants she and did. retail in the area are putting right. stuff in them. Um, a Dorian at um, 
Zahara mm -hmm. is giving us right. appetizers mm -hmm. and Lori's brother's doing gelato right. tasting. We have, we have a special Montini drink right. for everyone. And that will benefit the American Red Cross. And speaking yeah. of the Red Cross, we have them coming? Yes, I think the American yep. Red Cross is coming, um, well, because the woman that I talked to is a mom. And so I said, you, you need go. to come and yeah. have Montinis it's with wonderful. us. And she's very excited that we're doing this. So yeah. Percentage of the night will go to the American Red Cross to help with um, the hurricane victims mm -hmm. and also any sp needs that they have. Um, but we're going to be back very soon. We're getting the wave um, with a fabulous guest, Chrissy Landino, who's a professional organizer, is going to come on and talk to us about how we can be <sighs> more organized, more <laughs> sane. We all need. Yes. We all need. Absolutely. So cheers. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Thank you. Welcome back, everybody. We are so excited to have Christine Landino with us. Welcome, Cheers. Christine. Welcome. Well, we <laughs> Cheers. 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 My wine's in here. Um, Christine has a master's in social work as well as a master's in public health. She is the owner of Orderly Space has several years of experience as a professional organizer for hire, and Christine is a former member of the National Association of Professional Organizers and a current member of the National Institute of Challenging Disorganization. Mm. I feel like yes, that's my it middle is a middle name. <laughs> okay, she be you began, okay, so you began your company in 2004. Right. Uh, she offers expertise in paper management, different decluttering, um, toy organization, home efficiency techniques, Christine has a subspecialty <laughs> of working with clients with ADD and ADHD, a chronic disorganization and hoarding behavior. Christine works with clients to help them increase productivity, reduce stress, and regain a sense of control over their environment. Um, Chrissy, you live here in West Hartford yep. with your husband and your two children, Joseph, 11, and mm -hmm. Olivia, 12. Wow. I, I, <laughs> we are so happy to have you on. And Thank you for having me. Where do we even start with all of this? Well, I can start by telling you Chrissy is amazing because <laughs> right. I called her because I found her on the Facebook page and I said, I love organizing and I think I do a good job, but I need help. Yeah, and right. she came in and she was like, where do we start? It was <laughs> right. one project that right. I had and I think it was just the moving the book. It, I wanted to make my bed more serene. And Chrissy, like, and what I'm like, we need to just, and she moves fast, and she does it with right. me. And well, I remember the process, and oh, I yeah, remember you so talking excited. us through it. Yeah, yeah. I kept talking every about day. It. She's like, like, we did this today, yeah. and I made and I a thousand books. And, and she's like, Look well, what she was today. like, what? What is this? And I yeah. go, that's the binder when I fed Gabriella. <laughs> and she's like, thirteen <laughs> years ago. Why are you <laughs> so We're fourteen? Why are you holding on to it? And us moms, I feel like we all do that. Yes. And so when I invited you to come on, I think it's something that all moms, like Cami, said. Think right. about like getting rid of stuff, but yeah. how do we begin? You right. feel guilty. So you welcome. feel guilty. Really so good. yeah. So you know we've all experienced the the morning rush. The where's the soccer cleat? Where's the permission slip? Where's mm -hmm. the homework? All this artwork, all this paper, you know. So that's why I tagline my business going from chaos to calm because you can go through hell and back before 8.30 in the morning. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Before 8, I think it's before or 8. eight. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so I really try and employ different modalities with my clients depending on their children, you know, their personality, um, to enable them to be efficient because your environment at the end of the day can either create stress or reduce stress. Mm -hmm. And when you start the day that way and when the kids start the way that day, nobody wins. Right. And, I, and if sometimes I feel like some of the external stuff going on with this cr crazy stuff in the house, I take it out on the kids. And then afterwards, yes. after drop off, I'm like, oh my gosh, I bad know. mom. Yeah. Like all you're doing yeah. is like crazy on yes. yes. yeah. And then you feel terrible. You do. Right. You know, it's yeah. Just I'm literally cool. like kicking my kids out the door. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you also don't know what to expect when you come home. Were they bullied? Did they right. have a bad day? Right. Right. I don't know what their day is so about. So if your environment and you feel in control of it, you're able to handle their stress is better mm -hmm. if. There's a there's a plan and there's, there's a, a system. So. And that's such a good so thing. So how do we start the plan? So talk yeah. to us so about paper. You yeah. talked about paper. Yeah. So there's four areas that I think. I feel like paper comes into our house. Paper is a big one. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's four like big areas when it comes to moms and kids in school, which okay. is clothes, especially if you have a girl, paper, yes. artwork, and lunches. Yes. yes. So those were the four things that I thought we'd talk about. We can yes. start Perfect. with paper. Okay. Start with okay. paper. Love um, it. In the early years, depending on how old your kids are, the kindergarten, preschool, first grade, second grade, mm. it's a hoarding amount of paper that yes. comes home from school. I have tubs. Tubs. Yes. And then I, I feel guilty. Like, I feel guilty throwing it out. And you feel tubs. guilty throwing like it out. Them. So, yeah, I have clients that save scribbles and math homework. I'm like, <laughs> I, I can promise you your child will not care what their math looks like in <laughs> no, three years. No, no. So, 
Um, given that they come home from school, you're coming home from work, you're all in an empty tank, it's not the time to go through every paper. Oh so there's the old saying, um, if it's horizontal, it's a pile. If it's vertical, it's a file. You say that all the time. I do. All the time. Wow. So I've never heard that. I it rhymes, so we'll remember any, that. Even, even, even any table space like this is bad. It's, it's, really? You don't want piles. So the reason yeah. why piles are bad is, one, because they look awful, but two yeah. is you have to waste time going through them to figure out what you need. Yeah, so right. you want to be able to have things set aside so that when you need them, they're there. So they come home from school, they empty their backpack, you want to set it aside but not go through it. So I think that your system should be separate from your child so that you can maintain yours. So for kids, here's one example. Yeah. These are from Amazon. You can get five for $10. And kids need to be drawn to their system. So my daughter loves green. So when she comes home, all her paper goes in here. She just takes it out she of her backpack. She just takes it out and yeah. here. Mm -hmm. So when you start a kid with a new organizational plan, organization at the end of the day is behavior modification. So when you start something, you'll have to say, empty your backpack, put it in the green folder, you know, for maybe a week And where is that two. green folder in your house? So yeah, I tell all my clients that they're the CEO of their home and they need to run <laughs> it like that. a business. I love it. I'm the and CEO of something. You're the CEO of something. Yeah. And that their kids are their clients. So I think you should have a mommy management place, a command center, a place usually in the kitchen or the mudroom where you all are, mm -hmm. where it can go. So when they come in for their backpack, it should be near where they dump their backpack. Okay. Okay. It goes into here and then when you're ready love to it. deal with it, you That's deal with it. Okay. So if it fills for the week, totally fine. You should glance through it to make sure there's nothing important, but it's a it's a place for it to go. And then on the weekend, and that's when you can, go through and it. And you can go through it at the end of the day. Okay. So Love then for it. the moms, and again, there's so many different it's modalities that you can do, wow. but what you want is something visual. So yeah. for me, this is visual. The kids know this is mine. Don't touch it. Right. Um, so here I have Joseph and Olivia, so anything that deals with their school gets put into here. I make copies of their health assessment records, so if a camp comes up during the school year, I've always got a copy. Oh, that's oh, so wow. smart. That yeah. so and that's and, your and homework. Yeah. I like how you called it mommy's homework. Yeah, yeah this so is your it's homework. The, but it's kids' stuff, but it's for you. It's kids' stuff, so this isn't my electric bill or right, my right. bank statements. Mm -hmm. This is just for kids stuff. kid stuff, active stuff, things I have to remember in their world. Right. Then my son is on the spectrum, so I need to have a lot of articles about development and things with autism, so I have stuff here at the ready for what I need. Um, and then kids' activities, so if I have their soccer schedule, CCD schedule, whatever I need to get my hands on quickly, their directories. Then any upcoming event, so they've invited to a birthday party or there's tickets to oh, something like right that. here. So you don't have it all over your refrigerator. It's not, it's like not all over my refrigerator. <laughs> That's great. Um, and then orderly space, just stuff that I need for me. So this is just my go-to action file. Okay. Um, but there's many different ways that you can have this. It, there's boxes that you can have. There's things on the wall Where you can do you have. Get something like this. Something like this you can get at Staples, okay. um, Amazon, Target, Walmart. I even see it at Marshalls. You yeah. can see Marshalls. Yeah. You'll yeah. see the wire baskets that are individual. Yeah. Right. But I like that it's all in one place and it's not like my refrigerator. Right. Like right. I, right. I, I feel I like, like we're putting stuff over stuff. Right. right. Is that I want it? You want it to be. So this is where design meets function. So you want it to be visible and grab your eye. So it needs to be just a little bit ugly, but it's organized, but you can also move it if company comes over. Right. And oh, if God forbid someone important. comes over, it doesn't look that right. bad. Right. But and it's um, not cluttered, just having it's not a papers, place. it's not right. Yeah. Right. Right. It's not. right. So you want to work in increments of time. And you want the labels to be visual cue reminders yeah, right. for what so you need you know, to do. Because I feel like it. mine would yeah. look like that. that. I feel like mine would look like this. Yes. <laughs> and I, you know what I was just going to say? But and that's probably yeah, just like I think that's this what, year. But you yeah. have to go through it. Like okay. So you can go through it once a week. Nothing works unless you work the system. Right. right. Okay. But you can let it p pile up for a week. Like, I don't pay bills every day. I don't file every day. But when I do need something, I grab it. And I work in increments of time of just of what I need to do or what I need <laughs> I feel to like remember. Like mine will look like right. Yeah. Like, this thing sticking in. And then this would support your calendar, right? So yes. mm -hmm. you've got a visual calendar of activities that are knowns, and then this is your supporting paperwork. Yeah. You just want to not have that stress of what am I forgetting, what am I needing? Okay. And then an another trick that I use for like permission slips or pieces of paper that the kids have to remember, you can decorate a clothespin and attach it to the outside of their backpack, so that they bring it right to school. Oh, oh. I think that would fly in high school, yeah. but I yeah. like the idea for younger kids. Yeah, Interesting. it's like a visual. And so talk to us about getting ready in the morning with clothes. Christy, so, before we go to clothes, though, yeah. do, you, do you include your kids into this whole thing as far as, like, the paper part of the organizing? Um, More so than just here, drop it here. Do they do anything as far as helping you out to keep it 
It depends maintain? on the age. It's a great question. So if, if they're younger, no. Because I'd love older, to include them as much as yeah, we could. Yeah, so my son's in fifth grade. I absolutely include him. And mm -hmm. I say, you know, when you're ready. So when he first comes home, he's done. Right. Yeah. So I say, when you're ready, maybe before dinner. And I always... I always warn them. So it's like when you're little and you go into a store, you say, before we go into the store, right. I need you not to act like an animal and I right. need you to do this. <laughs> right. So I'll say to them, in 10 minutes, I'm going to ask you to go through your green folder. Okay. And here's what I'm going to ask you to do until they get the And that's the green it. folder. Right. Okay. And that the would okay. be the green folder and okay. say, I want you to pull out what's junk. I want you to leave in what I need to know. Uh, is there anything I need right. to read? You leave right. it in there. So it's age dependent. It's age dependent. Okay. It's, age, it's absolutely age okay. dependent. So right, crazy good. morning, I try to tell them to pick out their clothes the yeah. night before. It worked when they were little. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's it happening. It did work now. when they were little. But when, now as they get it's older, like, and I don't teens know, and teens, I'm so right. tired. Right, so again, all this is age dependent. The earlier you can start, the better. I know when my daughter doesn't pick out her clothes, it looks like someone robbed our house. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. it, <laughs> it is. It's right, it does. I'm like, I can't have that. Yeah. And yeah. So, so then I'm like, oh, till she gets home. Yeah. And then she gets home, I'm like, clean your room. Right, right. She's like, I'm tired. So I find that if on Sunday you take time to do pre-planning, it really oh, goes a Sunday. long way. See? So Sunday, That's so the okay. more kids, whatever age they are, get in the habit of accountability then the more they're going to be compliant to the system. So usually the weather is pretty accurate somewhat by Sunday, right? right? Mm -hmm. So they can plan the week. Yeah. So having these visual tags, so I just did Olivia's clothes for tomorrow. These are the tags for the week. You could do sports if you have a, if you have a boy, but they're just days of the week. And they yeah, can take the time to plan the outfit. Right. right. And they may Sunday, hang the tag on them. Right. And they've chosen this. So yeah. they've they've made themselves accountable. Right. They've They're agreed to it. They're I in control. It. I'm not ironing at 759. Right. You do all the ironing, do all the prepping. Okay. I don't even iron ever. I know, I'm crazy. Don't I even don't iron. iron. But no, 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 no. No, as the girls anyway. get older, <laughs> it gets worse and worse. So I the know. more and, and I say to them, you've made accountability to this. Right. This way when you come home from school. Your room is as you left it. Right, it's right. not a tornado. And then you're not through. having the what do I wear? <laughs> what right. do I wear? And, and the then meltdowns. I have them do the two, And then I yeah. have them do two backup outfits. Oh wow! So they have some. wow. That's a lot, right? But that's it. You have because to come to my house on a Sunday, I think, and do this for my. But room. and then again, like every Sunday, it's age dependent. They do so it every Sunday. She does it. I love it. Yeah. So right. if you institute, institute this and say your daughter's in, you know, eighth or ninth grade, yeah. yep. and they leave their room a tornado, and they've done this, take the clothes, and they have to earn them back. Yeah, watch. They have to go to school with no clothes. Watch, then they will never, they will never <laughs> not do it again. Right. Right. So right. Right. All those shoes you left on the floor, you got to earn those back. Right, yeah. dusting. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. But I yeah. like. You know what I like? I like. You know how we plan our meals on Sunday? People like chop it's their. It's the visuals. same way. I kind of like that you're saying like yeah, have them do it on Sunday. Take a half yes. an hour yes. when there's no stress. That would be kind of no. nice for the moms too. Oh yeah. Why I not know. plan your yes. outfits on, I know. on Sunday? It would be great. Mm -hmm. You know. You know. You wear twenty percent of your clothes eighty percent of the time. Right. Yeah. I don't know. It doesn't occur to me to look towards the back because I'm always like in. Right. Right. Now talk to us about lunches because you mentioned lunches. So lunches are another huge, huge thing. So as you can see. There's going to be a little theme here of Sunday's an important day for organizing. <laughs> Busy day. So you're crazy in yeah. your house on a Sunday. <laughs> so lunches are yeah. So lunches are a huge thing that I I hear a lot from clients that, you know, it's a time consuming. How do you make it healthy? Yada yada yada. Yep. So I used to say to my kids, you know, what do you want for lunch this week? I don't know. I don't know. And so then I thought, you know, when I tell a client, a, a child, to clean their room. They don't know where to start, but if I say, hey, can you take your Barbies and put them in the Barbie bin, mm -hmm. or can you take your toys and put them in the toy bin, then they can do it. So I said, let's come up with an acronym. So we came up with DMVs, which is drink, your main course, whether that's a sandwich, a salad, a parfait, your vegetable, and a snack. So now I say, what do you want for your DMV? So they know to think in those increments. Oh, that's so smart. So and, the, and now that our kids are older, they want to help. Older, right, right. Older, so Man, on Sunday, lunch. So you have one in the, so this is in the cupboard. So you have your drink. This is so organized. Sure is. Yeah, my cupboard looks just like that. Oh, no. That's, a, that's my cupboard. Yeah. You can have one bin. So you have your snack, your difference. These are so good. Yeah. You have your snack, seaweed, protein bar. My you know, kids fruit. love that seaweed. It's really good. Yeah, it's I really took a bite. Good. I don't know. I took a bite of it. I was kind of like, oh. It's yeah. really good. So you buy the snacks that they want. You so I talk That's with them great. about the snacks and the drinks. Olivia school and Joe's lunches. lunches. Because and my girls make their own lunch now. Because yeah, they so they can do that. And, and then in the fridge, eat. they have their vegetable. Oh, yeah, in the fridge. The fridge. That's and then for, for sandwiches, you can freeze them. So peanut butter and jelly are good to go in the freezer. Oh, I don't even oh. think to do that. And sandwiches, you, oh can do, you can do meat and cheese without the condiments. So 
you take it out that morning and just add the Good mustard, the mayo, or the really? spinach. So you yes. actually label your And then it doubles that. as an ice pack. And so you label oh. your oh, drawers in the fridge. it's frosted by the time it's... It is defrosted. <laughs> as frozen would be, sandwich. as the cheese stick would be, and the yogurt. You can put these in the freezer. Oh, you can? And then by lunch, they're great. What I love is that it's already, like, if you can look in your refrigerator and see that, you're like, okay, I don't need to go shopping. Right. Oh, that so the like, kids can yeah. do it. And also, then the kids know they can't touch this after school because this is just oh, designated just oh, for school. good point, yeah. Right. Yeah. So if you're and grabbing veggies. from here, here, and your sandwich is already made, you're done in minutes. You're so true. organized, Chrissy. <laughs> wow. You should be a professional. <laughs> I should do this for a living. You should be a professional. Living. Living. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but I love that. Okay, what's the fourth topic you want to talk to us oh, about? Oh, so artwork. Um, and, and I'll go back to bags. So artwork is another huge, so huge much thing. artwork. So much yeah. artwork, especially I mean, when they're younger. I felt yes. like every elementary day school was like just so cute. much. A lot. It's so cute. <laughs> so I think cute. I know what you're going to really say. Is. I wonder if it's guess. My guess is that there's the app where you take pictures of it. No, you can do that. Okay. You can do that. So there's so many different things you can do with artwork. Um, People run the gamut from not being able to throw anything out to throwing all of it out. So yeah. you have to sort of have a system that works for your personality and again, age dependent. Right. So I'll just walk you through kind okay. of the left and the right. So when artwork comes home, it's great, it's wonderful, but it's coming home in volumes. Mm -hmm. So yeah. if you have a kid that wants to see it visually and you wanna see it, you can make a clothesline in your house, you can paste oh, yeah, it on yeah. the fridge, mm -hmm. you can get a cork board that you can hang yeah, up where you can tack it right mm -hmm. on. And then when it gets full, you could have your child pick out their favorite five pieces and then quietly discard the rest and make room for more. By quietly, you mean put it in the garbage underneath all yes. the other garbage. the in bin. Otherwise, that <laughs> is the garbage. The, the other thing school. you can do, um, <laughs> all right, so that's if you, if you need to visually display it. If you can't quietly discard those five pieces because they're so precious, you just put them in an organizer like this. You can get these at heartsong.com, at Amazon. Um, you can go to Jerry's so Autorama cute. if you want yeah. one that's bigger, bigger and leather. Mm -hmm. The point is it's one-stop shopping. So it comes already monogrammed. Mm -hmm. And then on the inside, you could probably just see a label. Like here's oh, so every year third grade. Awesome. So you just dump in chronological order. Love I it. like this because you put the school picture in, you put the writing in, you put everything in. You can, you can have different organizers, but at the end of the day, you want to say, here, here you go. Here's your childhood. When you're 18. Right. Here's your yeah. childhood. <laughs> Take it to college. Take it to college. <laughs> Here you go. And so you, what you can do at the end of the year is look, take that volume, which mm -hmm. will be like this, mm. and then say, oh, there's 10 butterflies, I'll pick one, or pick right. the favorite five right, pieces. Right, right, right. Right. So what some people do, some people take it to the extreme, and they'll take pictures of it, they'll upload it, they'll make a Shutterfly book, oh, which is yeah, all wonderful, too. but it's very time consuming. Mm. Oh, yeah. And so, more stuff. Um, some people right. also take it and make a huge um, collage of it. Um, some people oh, just so it's all in one say, picture. Yeah. So it's all in one picture. But then I it would just, just sit in my like, phone, I feel like. I, I mean, feel when like you're I wouldn't looking, you're like, you're You'd have to frame that one big yeah. collage. <laughs> where am I going to put that? Where are going to put that? But you're saving this for in 30 years. Right. So That's a portfolio. Here's what you're doing. So if you save too much, you take something that was cherished and you make it cluttered. Right. And then it loses its significance. Because yeah. yeah. if you've ever yeah. cleaned yes. out like someone's house before, Mm -hmm. You're not going to go through. Kind of like everything. with greeting cards when people with save greeting, greeting cards. cards, like Adria Giordana. Christmas I, I cards. Just saved greeting Chrissy cards. was like, if yeah. I open that hat bin and there's more greeting <laughs> cards in there, Adria, because <laughs> right. I saved all of them. But all that's of my them. point. But she's yeah. right; it loses its value. It, yeah. it loses it does. its value. It does. Yeah, it really it does. does. You want to look. It becomes an annoyance. It becomes an annoyance. You want to look at the phonetic writing when things are spelled wrong. You want to look at the pictures that were kind of horrible. That's what's going to make you laugh in thirty years, right? Right. And you so, know what I love is that all of this seems very economical. Like it doesn't seem like you need to spend a lot of money. It's I economical. feel like one thing you had said to me is so many people buy so many organizing systems. Yeah. They spend so much money. They spend so much money. And they're they not, so it's much not money. working for to. them. No, and at the end of the day, I mean, another key thing is, is that, so I take these classes through the National Institute and because I work with people who have chronic disorganization problems. And it's important to note that what they're finding now is a lot of kids who are now in their 20s, who are from middle and upper middle class families, which is, you know, a lot of the population in West Hartford, a lot of them are in therapy. And you're looking for the triggers, like was there, you know... A crazy mother uh, screaming at them. Right. Was, what, what was right. happening that would make them depressed or anxious? And they're finding that the kids can't cope because parents did so much mm. for them. Mm -hmm. They have no coping skills. So, exactly. you know, the, they come home, the mom empties the backpack. The, the mom makes the lunch. The mom picks out the clothes. They're not picks accountable up the for anything. They're not accountable right. for anything. So all of a sudden in the real world, when they have to cope, they don't have those skills. So 
All of these different modalities are all about kids becoming accountable for themselves. And at the end of the day, organization isn't about you know, neatness and picture perfect stage house. Right. It's about being able to run on function, autopilot right. and function so that kids have that structure and that you don't own everything. Right. So that's, that's how you great. can get a yeah, that's that's great. And we I need mean, to take that and apply it. And I think what you yeah. said Adults. was about the accountability right. is so important it's because so important. they get used to us doing everything. Because then for your son everything. goes away to college and he says Oh boy, I've never done laundry I don't know before. How to, I'll be home I, Friday I, I, night I, I with the laundry. I've teenagers that don't oh, know how yeah. to make a bed. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. so oh, Chrissy, no, these are some great tips. We're going to put. Right. Can wonderful. we put your information? How can people find you if they want to hire you? Uh, so my website will be back up in November, but okay. it's at orderlyspace.com. Okay. Um, and then my phone number. And we'll okay. put it on our Facebook yes. page. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. You might well, be getting a call you, from me. Yes, that would be great. <laughs> you are fabulous, Chrissy. We want to have you on again because I think these are great tips that anybody Definitely. can apply no matter what the age of your child is. Yeah, it, and it all runs so the much. gamut. Yeah, yeah. Cheers. Thank, thank you. you. Thank thank you. Thank oh, wait, we have, a, we have you. a gift for you. This we is, our right. this is how we organize. This is how we organize with a little of this. I love yes. While you're organizing. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you so much, Chrissy. You're fabulous. Thank you. So wasn't she great? Oh, Don't she we love awesome. Chrissy? I learned so many tips tonight. Yeah, that, me too. Yeah. And I think a lot of moms will learn a lot of tips yeah. tonight. I'm going to use those little refrigerator things to put in the fridge with yeah. your items oh, inside yeah. it. Really so that good. they don't those touch, they don't they touch it. They can just go grab them. Right. I like and label and label. Get the label maker going. And I like the emptying of your backpack because I feel like we never empty our backpack until like hmm. 7 o'clock the next morning. Right, no. right. And then we're running around mm -hmm. seeing what I need to sign and what I need to write yeah. a check for. Right. right, at the last minute. Yep. Yeah. So it's before we wrap up, we just want to announce that October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Yes. And we're excited because He's our own Camille Ferreira is Survivor. In, we have a lot of Revolution. events and Cammy's in a, um, you're in a fashion show yes. and we have, um, and that's tomorrow? October 21st. Yes, and October 21st, we have right here at the Town Hall, mm -hmm. um, Shades of Pink Gala. And that is, um, we're, you know, um, I'm on the committee and was the former guest, mm -hmm. Marcy. Um, she does it for, for her husband, husband mm -hmm. who passed away from breast cancer. We have a table there. We do have a Mom's Time Out table there. Um, it's going to be an amazing event. It's open to the public. They're, you know, looking for sponsors, all sorts of things. But yeah, this month really is all about, you know, right. celebrating people that have gone through it and exactly. continue to go through, through it. Going through Warriors. It right. Yep. yep. Right. So, no, we're Everybody so excited about fight. that. And um, don't forget about October 12th. All the information's on Facebook, but we're going to have, gonna a, I think we're going to have a really nice. For a great so cause. A great yes. cause. Oh, and speaking of great cause, we're going to have the Red yeah. Cross there with us. My daughter and Lori's daughter started with a couple of other girls um, at school, started a fundraiser mm -hmm. for the Red Cross for yeah. hurricane relief. And now I think a lot of it's going to go to Puerto Rico, they're telling me. Yeah. But, okay. um, oh, they did. They, they did the These little girls so raised $700. Amazing. Wow. And started Amazing. it, told so the principal sweet. this is what we're doing. Yeah. yeah. Um, the, our Adidas rep who came on our show, yep. um, Rachel, before, Rachel yep. Lobo, donated a beautiful Adidas basket. So that was like a big raffle prize that people really wanted. Um, a bunch of stuff. And they, they did a fabu they, fabulous job. I love that they started it. So, and then now, so. now they think that the moms time out are, is doing it because they did it. Yeah. Well, we are. We're so, five so, so we have seven. to give them yeah. a shout out because yes. I'm just so impressed with, with yeah. the, the yeah. young people. Yeah. This, this not even that it's our kids, but so many kids in the school got involved. It really was amazing. It's nice that the kids can inspire other kids. That's right. So we hope you come out on October. October 12th. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. You. Yep, and don't forget. Don't forget you put the time, time in. in. Don't, don't forget, forget to take the time out. out. Cheers, girls. You go every night and you snuggle up real tight. Is it in front of your screen where everything we show is exactly how it seems? Everything we show is right for you.